So as you can see, the green slopes from right to left here. I'm going to aim a little bit right on your pin, probably hope to land it uh, around about the edge of the green and hope it curls in towards the pin and we can salvage a par and get another, another, another shot up on the course. I gotta say, I'm pretty pleased with that. I hope you can see how close that is on the camera. Well, this should be an easy tap in, but there is a little bit of movement on this part, so I'm gonna have to be careful. Hurry up. It's easy, sometimes. So this is the eighth, uh, about 470 yards from the white tees. Dog leg right, so our best line really is just go to the edge of these uh, trees on the right hand side here if we can. I don't want to be in the right because there's a lot of trees there. Uh, if I, I'll probably aim towards the, the, the tallest tree in the distance there. No, that was, that was a bit of a hook, not too great, but it's not put me in any trouble. I've got plenty of room on the left-hand side of the fairway there, and it's a par five, so we've got time to make up for that. Like I say, not a great shot, but I've got the, the fairway spread out in front of me. Um, I've just got a six iron here. I'm thinking I'm probably 300 plus, plus yards out. So any, anything inside the 150 from here is good for me. Again, not a great strike, but it's straight down the middle, and say so should be probably about 140 out, I imagine. I've got 117 left, which should really be spot on for my 50 degree. Um, one thing I do want to avoid is, is the, the big tree on the right there. I'll see if, if you, I'm probably just far enough left to avoid it. Well, the distance was about right. As you can see, we've, uh, we've probably got, what I said, maybe 10 or 12 feet. This is going to curl a little bit right to left. Well, that's birdie with the shot, so uh, that takes us to four up against the course. So this is the ninth hole, pretty straightforward, par five, 460 yards. Four up at the moment, so pretty pleased with that. Just gonna try and keep this one in the fairway.
uh, seem to have a habit of pulling things slightly tonight. The, uh, that's, that's gone uh, to the left, round, round about where the little hummocks are on the left hand side. Usually I've got a decent shot out of there though, so I should be able to get, uh, get back onto the fairway. Now this, um, this hole is one of the three that I don't get a shot on, so I really need a par here. So not too badly off, but I'm on the upslope of one of the hummocks here. Got a clear shot down the fairway. I'm not going to reach it in two, so again I'm going six iron, just pump it down the middle. We hope. Little bit of members bounce there, pulled it a little bit down the left, caught a tree and bounced back out onto the fairway, probably around about 120 out. So it did better than I thought, uh, we've got 100, 100 yards out, pin uh, just left to centre, yellow pin, so we, we're good to go at 100. That was awful. I screwed that one right, landed just short of the bunker. I hope I'm not in the rough because I've got to, got to get up and down from there. So I've ended up in the rough, unfortunately. So I'm not quite sure how this is going to come out of here. Maybe I'm going to get a bit more roll than usual. Um, got my 50 degree, see what I can do. Well, it's not great. We've probably got a uh, 15 foot putt for par. Well, a bit of a weak putt. We lost that hole to the course, but happy to come in at three up on the front nine. 